A lot of people like to describe my running style for me. <laughs> they think I go out way too fast. And they're not wrong. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know me to get to the other side. I kind of say I have one speed, which isn't fully true, but it's the start of the race. Like, I'm not going to take it easy. I don't know about all you are. Why don't you scoot up just a little, and then lighting looks great. How far are you zoomed? Okay, great. Mike, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. So I like started to get into film when I worked for iHeartRadio. I enjoyed doing some of their social media work and making like short videos and stuff. While I was working in Nashville, I was skydiving and half of my work, well, it wasn't work, it was like passion projects was in skydiving. That's what really spurred my love for film because you can use music to show emotion and to match lyrics to like what you're doing. And um, that's what will always keep drawing me back in. And welcome to my crib. Uh, my friends call it the Mac Shack. Um, I share it with uh, this little girl. I think traveling and especially the van life is just all a manifestation of who I was when I was little. It was hard to sit still and be in school for eight hours a day. And I noticed like, as I got into high school, there was more freedom. And then getting into college, you only have classes a few hours a day. And then graduating, it was like, wow, I can travel the world if I wanted. She was always athletic. She always wanted to play with her older brother's friends if they were playing hockey or whatever sport they were doing. So she, uh, she was athletic. I never pictured her a runner per se, but she did run pretty well now that I think about it. She's pretty good at anything she tries. I started competing in cross country my junior year in high school, and I had loved running a few years before that, but um, I played ice hockey and lacrosse, and it was just, it would have been a lot to balance. There were no runners in the family for her to emulate. Yeah. Uh, so it was a new thing for the family to uh, have a runner in the family. Once I started competing in running, I knew that's what I wanted to do in college and forever. The incline is very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, it's also a very iconic spot in Colorado Springs. Welcome to the incline. Before I really started going for records, I was just doing it purely out of joy and training purposes. And also it was a great tool because I went through a lot of injuries, but something about the stairs were so low impact. and. I could have something that hurt and I'd be able to do the incline. Allie is the most positive person ever. Like, give her any situation, no matter how challenging, how uphill, like, she is super determined to spin a positive light on it and, like, navigate her way through. I think there's new pressure, you know, there's new people watching, there's 10,000 more Instagram followers, there's a new sponsor, so, She's so incredible at managing it, but yeah, I don't think she flies out to a race and doesn't try to win first ever. Yeah, that's not her style. When I face a new challenge of something in life or learning something new, I like to go all in, head first, just like when I take off for a race. 
skydiving and sky sports all started when I had hip surgery, actually, in 2016. Uh, I healed really well, but I just was not in the mindset to train hard. The goal I had getting into skydiving was definitely base jumping, but it took a lot longer than I ever thought. Um, six and a half years, actually. I know sometimes, even since skydiving, lining up to a start line, I just don't get as nervous. And I, correlation, causation, I don't know, but I think jumping out of a plane or off a bridge has really calmed the nerves for a starting line. Sometimes the only way to stay sane is to go a little crazy. Thank you.